Welcome back, dear students. So in previous uh, lecture, we have uh, created a first up file containing our desired sequences. So in this tutorial, we will align these sequences and construct a phylogenetic tree. So here, yeah, this is the protein sequences, these are the peptide sequences, and we want to use these 12 peptide sequences to generate the phylogenetic tree. So for this purpose, we will use Mega X. You have to install Mega X tool. Uh, this is the uh, freely available tool that can be downloaded from our website. So uh, just uh, click on align, do alignment. Just wait for a second. Okay, here is an three option. Uh, as we are creating a new alignment, so we select create a new alignment. Okay, then uh, this is a type of sequences. As we are using a protein sequences, so we will select protein sequences. This is a new window. So uh, we can, there are two options we can copy and paste sequences in this window as well as we can also import first of our sequences so we have already first of our sequences we will upload using this file option of our sequences. Sequences. Uh, we can delete this sequence, and these are 12 sequences. So we can align these using cluster W as well as muscle program. So we will use muscle program, just align. This is the number of iterations, and this is, these are some parameters. Left these as a by default. So this is the align output of your sequences. We can see uh, as there are some convergent among these sequences. So uh, this is the multiple sequence alignment result. Uh, we can also draw, we can also construct phylogenetic analysis. So uh, we can carry phylogenetic analysis using these aligned sequence. So click, just click uh, on phylogenetic analysis and minimize this test. Now here is our align sequence. So just go to the Nitro library. We can use different programs. There are different programs, Nitro Channel method and Nitro library. We can also use Nitro Channel method. And just uh, left these as a, uh, we can change this tapping values. Uh, as we can change this up to thousand, but due to computational power, this depends on the uh, uh, computational power. If we have a high computational power, then we can increase this bootstrapping value. And the, the bootstrapping values uh, directly impact on the uh, phylogenetic tree the results. If we increase the number of bootstrapping values, then the the ultimate, the final phylogenetic tree will be a refined tree. So, so has uh, this is uh, we have selected 50 bootstrapping values with number of threads. Number of threads means the number of CPUs that we are providing for this program. So, just click on this one and now within a second, uh, this is our final tree. 
these are uh, bootstrapping values. These are different bootstrapping values. And the total value, if the total value is 100, then uh, if this is a bootstrapping value, this 100 which uh, means uh, these two sequences are very closely related sequences. And uh, these sequences belong to a single group, while these two sequences are similar. But this one is a little bit different from all these other sequences. So this is our phylogenetic tree. We can also change the uh, view style. This is circular phylogenetic tree. And uh, as the final level, we can sell these uh, in the form of PNG file. So like for uh, poster, we will sell this one. Perfect. No, our phylogenetic tree is ready. We can check our phylogenetic tree uh, in PNG format. So this is our phylogenetic tree. Okay, uh, here is an option. Uh, I want to uh, show some other options. Uh, as we can edit the gene, uh, gene expression IDs. So we, we can also flap uh, our uh, IDs with uh, each other. This is the curly tensor bootstrapping tree. Okay, that's all. If uh, you have any questions, please uh, let me know and help. Uh,